feeling when you're trying to record a video and there's like a thousand certification, call comes in, um, your battery is low, something pops up in a part, but like the light is not working. Yes, exactly. This happens in business as well. You have an amazing idea and you want to push through and you feel it like in your heart and then a thousand little distraction comes in and you're thinking, you might be thinking like, hmm, that's a sign from the universe that I shouldn't do it. <laughs> no, that's not a sign from the universe that you shouldn't do it. That's only universe is testing you or, you know, however you want to call it, energy, you know, whatever resonates with you is testing you really uh, uh, to see, are you serious about this idea? You know, and let me use example, like uh, we can connect that with the relationship. You know how it's like when you're single and you want to have a partner and there's no one, there's like no one. And probably, you know, you're thinking like, oh my God, will I ever meet someone? And then you fall in love. Out of the blue, you fall in love. When you let go, you know, you fall in love. And then you're like, you want to go on a date with that person and you start dating it. And then out of the blue, like everyone is onto you, sending you messages, inviting you out. It's like all these distractions coming in. Okay. The same thing is happening in business. So you have an idea, you want to start something new. And then at a certain point, uh, you, you have this feeling that the things are not going. It's like, why is this happening? Um, we are really, really tested. And this is what I love about ideas. Ideas love to make sure that we are really faithful to them, that we really give them time, like in a dating, that we really give them our complete presence, that we really, you know, put some energy in because to, to relationship to work, you, you know, you just cannot ex uh, expect that relationship will work if you don't put some time and energy and presence there, right? So it's the same thing. I want to remind you today that whatever idea came to your mind, and if you still cannot forget about it, you know, it's like, ah, oh, every time you see on television, you're like, ah, oh, you know what, ah, oh, that idea, why did not push through? I want to remind you that uh, idea would never be downloaded to you, to, you aware, to your awareness, if you don't have capability, creativity, and capacity to make this idea alive. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be a small idea that it's kind of, you know, in the line where your business is going, but it can be such a different idea that you're like thinking like, oh my God, how will I do this? I, I was not educated for this. I, I, you know, I don't know anything about this. That's actually good. And why is this good? Uh, uh, it's a, you know, for several reasons. Let me, let me break it down very simple. Look at this. Sometimes people who are educated, you know, sorry, sometimes people who are educated for a certain area, they're so into their head that with time and with experience, they lose this natural uh, uh, creative eyes to, to solve what's obvious. And then people from other industry jump in, you know, and then say, hey, why don't you do this? And they're like, oh, my God. I mean, how can you know what, what needs to be done and you didn't even finish the university for this and I've been studying this for years and I, you know, I cannot solve the problem. This is the thing. Don't be afraid to jump in other industries because your eyes, your fresh eyes uh, are basically the diamonds that you can bring there. So, you know, I had a, I had an experience for example, when I started, you know, helping other leaders to build their businesses and, you know, uh, the scale and, and penetrate new markets, I saw so many things that other people who are like, you know, 30 years in the industry and with all this experience and they never suggested that. And it's not something that it's not working. It's obviously something that it's working, but people are so stick to the systems and the way things should be done. So maybe you, you can contribute with your idea in total different industry that you're in. So don't be afraid, you know, don't be afraid. I always remember the, the lady, you know, from Harry Potter, like she was not a writer her whole life. You know what I mean? She just said like, hey, I need to do this. It's in my heart. So she did it. If you look at my case as well, I'm coming from the educational background. I was great there. I love it. One of my biggest love in my life. But then I switched to business and like, damn, I achieve a huge success. Why? 
because I had advantage that I'm not, my creativity was not used and I was not put it in the system. I got education from a business, marketing, branding, uh, public speaking from individuals, highly the best coaches and consultants in the world, but I never let the system define me. I stayed who I am, you know, creative and saying like, no, we shouldn't do it this way. We should do it that way. So I want to encourage you, be brave, be brave to go to follow that idea. And don't limit yourself that because you didn't finish some education, because you don't have the certificate, uh, certificate, like uh, my friend Germans would say, <laughs> but you cannot do something. You can do whatever you want. You really can do whatever you want. And last but not least, when you start that idea, when you jump in that field, I want to remind you that not all people who you are talking to will be your people. And that's okay. You don't need all people. You need your people. You need people who will trust you, who will like you, who would love to do business with you based on your personality, your energy, your knowledge. And it's amazing what John Maxwell taught me years and years and years ago. It says, people don't care how much you know until they see how much you care. So if you care, it is a natural process that you will invest time to educate yourself on your own way, that you will read books, that you will go to seminars, that you will ask for leadership, that you will have mentors, that you will have your support group. It really works. So don't let that fear of, oh my God, I never done this. It's not my industry. Stop you. Your idea is more worth it than anyone else's opinion. And people will not tell you directly, you know, how come you are now this? They will just look at you like, hmm, I've been there. You know what? Let them look. Let them look. Let them watch. You just keep going. You just be that rebel, be that visionary, because your idea can change the world. So that's a message for today. Don't give up from your idea. Be kind from Munich, and thank you for your support. Bye-bye.